हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज रतिन दत्ता टुडे विल बी डिटरमाइनिंग द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ए बॉडी द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ए बॉडी डिपेंड्स अपॉन द ज्योमेट्रिकल पैरामीटर्स एंड द मास प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द बॉडी एंड इट इज प्योरली डजेंट डिपेंड अपॉन और यू कैन से इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द फोर्स अप्लाइड ऑन इट सो द क्वेश्चन इज नाउ हाउ टू डिटरमाइन दिस नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी देर आर सेवरल मैथड्स यूजिंग इक्विब्रियम मैथड और द रेलेज मैथड ओके बट इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी यूजिंग द इक्विलिब्रियम मेथड दैट इज बाय डी एलम्बर्ग प्रिंसिपल व्हेन आई से नेचुरल फ्रीक्वेंसी इट इट विल बोथ include the circular natural frequency that is the omega n and the linear natural frequency that is the fn okay so considering a uh, system uh, using a spring with a stiffness k uh, where a mass is attached to it of magnitude m suppose what it will do there will be deflection let's call it delta so the retractive force will try to balance the uh, weight force of the body right so what will happen the spring force kx acting upward will balance the weight force or the gravitational force mg at that instance but what we will do we will give an extra deflection to it initially it was delta now it will becomes delta plus x hence the upward spring force will becomes k into delta plus x and it will balance the uh gravitational force that is the downward gravitational force mg due to this there will be a inertia force against the direction of the motion of the body acting upward is it not so your your uh, mx double dot will be acting upward so your spring force k into delta plus x and your inertia force acting upward that is mx double dot will have a equilibrium equation with the gravitational force mg so k into delta plus x plus mx double dot will be equal to mg and it will fetch us the expression for omega n that is a circular natural frequency and the fn the near, the linear natural frequency and we will relate it relate this frequency with the time period tp so we will finding out omega n fn and the time period let's see the derivation how we do it Hello guys, uh, this is the thing actually we were discussing regarding the um, natural frequency of uh, that one that is a linear frequency f n. We were talking about the circular frequency omega n, right? So how to determine? So we are using the uh, equilibrium method following the D Alembert's principle, right? D Alembert's principle, yeah. so you can see a spring mass system where a mass k sorry mass m is uh, connected to a, attached to a spring with stiffness k the spring stiffness can the mass m right okay due to the mass uh, uh, the spring gets strained by deflection of that is uh, delta right uh, so so you can see this delta right so at this instant it will be k delta equal to m into g and in the next part after giving a further deflection that is x what happens your spring force actually be becomes k into delta plus x due to which the body gains a motion and against of this motion there will be a inertia force this mx double dot is nothing but your m into acceleration right so it is nothing but your inertia force due to this introduction we are calling it that it is put forwarded by d alembert's principle because we are using a inertia force to explain or to determine the natural frequency right so if you see at this instant if we take the equilibrium condition it actually becomes what it actually becomes k into delta plus x is equals to sorry uh, then mx double dot is equals to m into g is it not because these two are the upward force your k delta plus x is a upward force your mx double dot is a upward force but your weight force that is a gravitation force is a downward force so just breaking the bracket it will be m into g but you know that k delta is equal to m into g so 
your equation will become mx double dot is equal to kx is it not so it will become equal to 0 then x uh, double dot will be equal to sorry plus k by m into x equal to 0 are you getting my point so this k by if we compare it with the shm the simple harmonic motion equation so your x dot uh, so see, x dot will become will be become omega square into x equal to 0 because we are just uh, replacing or comparing with the assets in the simple harmonic motion equation this k by m will be equal to omega square that is represented as omega n square because we are they are representing it as a circular natural frequency and hence this n is used so this omega n is nothing but your root over k by m since we know that um, omega n is nothing but 2 pi into fn right so this fn can be written as 2 pi into sorry fn can be written as 1 by 2 pi into omega n are you getting my point since omega equal to omega n equal to root over k by m fn will be equal to root uh, 1 by 2 pi omega n so your fn will become 1 by 2 pi root over k by m so this this will be your value of uh, this is the value of circular natural frequency and this is the and uh, linear natural frequency right so your time period tp is nothing but 1 by fn so it will become 2 pi by root over m by k are you getting my point okay so your tp can be uh, represented as tp 2 pi root over m by k so this is your time period yeah this is your let me write it yeah this is your time period are you getting my point this is your time period this equation then this equation and this equation in the below that is in the right side that is omega n that is a circular natural frequency linear natural frequency in the tp i hope you get the concept of how to determine the natural frequency either it is fn or omega n using the equilibrium method that is the d lambert's principle and finally determining the time period in required for the vibration right of the body so thank you again thank you so much for being with me for liking sharing my content thank you once again till next video see you again bye bye